Hello friends! I'm putting this message at the beginning of each one of my videos because it is very important. Next Tuesday, which is May 5th, is going to be your expedition final turn-in day. So, while you are working on another picture of your expedition today, on Tuesday I'm going to need you to turn in your final expedition. So over the weekend, and on Monday, and on Tuesday, if you have any time that you want to work on your artwork, your expedition piece, that's a great time to do it. It's going to need to be turned in to me Tuesday, no later than midnight. Anything that gets turned in to me on Wednesday, I'm afraid will be too late. So, thank you. I appreciate it. You should be able to see in your daily sheets where to turn in your artwork. It's the same Google Drive that you've been using. And again, if you have any problems or you can't put it into the Google, you can certainly email me at afranz, F-R-A-N-Z, at amanaacademy.org. Thanks. Hey, fourth grade, let's get ready for an art lesson with your friendly neighborhood art teacher. So, before we begin, you're going to need, like usual, paper. Lined paper or printing paper is fine. A pencil and eraser, and some coloring supplies, crayons, color pencils, or markers. Your guiding questions this week, uh, this semester have been, how can I be a positive ch a force of change in my community? How does one's perspective influence his or her opinions? And how could simple machines improve playgrounds to include children's with children with disabilities? Your learning targets today, I can use my eyes to find lines in real, real life pictures. I can draw the lines that I find. I can draw a large and simple machine. And I can practice my art multiple times. I know that you guys have been doing these a lot. You are going to do it at least one more time. We're going to need for you to work on your um, simple machines at least once more. So let's, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do one. I'm going to pull up one. So we've got lever, wedge, wheel and axle, screw, and pulley. Yeah, I like pulley. Let's work on that one. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how I would look for things and how to work with it. Remember, one of our goals this, this time has been to uh, look for perspective how to actually make it look like it's 3D or standing out. So for this one, I'm going to start up at the top with that stick or tree branch or whatever they've got that on. Now, since it's not straight lines, I didn't draw straight lines. I just drew the top and the bottom. Now if you look around the middle, there's another line that is an implied line. It's not really there, but it's dark. It's light up top and dark on the bottom. So I'm going to make that metal plate that's in the picture. I'm going to add the screws tops. And if you notice, I'm actually giving them a little bit of perspective too. Then comes down here. So the first thing I want to try and draw is the circle. So it's got two parts that we're going to look for. This is the outside part where the piece is going to come right here. But then there's the one next to it too. So I'm going to add this. It's going to need to be the same direction as the other one. The same slope and going the same way. And I'm trying really hard to make sure that they stay the same distance apart all the way around. So now I'm going to look at the, um, well, it's an axle that keeps it on there. So while it is, well, it does come down like that. You need to look for more lines. There's more than just that one. There's also a part next to it. And I wouldn't see that through it, so i got to erase that. And then it's got the part that comes in. And that comes right about there and stops. And then there's the other side of it, but you can't see that one all the way. So it's just like that. 
and then there's got a little bit of a um, it must be the other metal plate kind of makes that little dipping up there at the top so I've added some depth to my picture by adding these other sparks now I'm not done it's got the circles that you can see through and if you're really paying attention you're gonna notice that there's yet an even one more implied circle or line that implies another circle and it's kind of hidden so it's got that circle but how many do we see we really only see about three but I'm gonna use my artistic embellishment so now I've got pretty 3d looking pulley here I'm gonna add the rope the rope is gonna go So I just made that one a little bit sturdier. And you won't see that part. And you won't see that one up there. But you won't see it on the other side. It'll, but it'll be coming off down about there. And then to make this look even a little bit more like a rope. And then... So, that's my example of doing one 3D. Now, if I were to do this without having it look 3D, I would just be drawing something that looks like this. It kind of looks like a weird person with too many eyes and kind of weird hair. So you can see the difference. This is kind of what we started with, but now we're working on adding some depth to it. You want to add some lines to it in this spot where the it's on the bottom, it would be in the shade. This part would also be away from the, this would also be in shade. This whole part would be in shade. Some of this would be one of the nice things about having a picture is that you can look at it and look for where the darker parts of things in the picture already are. You don't have to come up with it. It's already on your picture. So use one of these as your examples and how to figure out how to draw something and make it look a lot more uh, 3D and in perspective. So you are working on another version of yours so continue working on whatever it was that you were working on on Tuesday if you feel like you need to start a completely new one go for it I mean I could do a completely different machine that's fine if you were drawing the screw and you'd realize that that's really hard because they are um, that's fine you can start another one because remember I am going to need something from you on Tuesday on what your simple machine is Use your previous techniques, looking for shapes, looking for lines, looking for the shadows with the color for uh, making this picture look the best that you can. At the bottom of your page, that's not yours, that's a butterfly. At the bottom of your page, I want you to write your name. I want you to give me a sentence about why, in a short sentence, why you picked that simple machine to uh, draw. Uh, turn in to me tomorrow your newest simple machine with coloring, shading, and your perspective done. So. If you have any questions, you can always email me. I'm at afrans at amanaacademy.org. Your turn-in folder is right there, but it's also linked on your daily sheet, so you should be able to find it there. All right. See you guys next week.